no, no. Nothing like that? Just hold me right there. And... She secure? Yep. Oh, she good? Find it! In the early evening of January 17, 2020, officers responded to a domestic disturbance in Flagler County where they meet 38-year-old Cherie Saunders. In true Floridian fashion, she's about to show them that it's not the alligators you should fear, but the people. It's you! What happened? The initial call came from Cherie's stepson who told police that she physically him and his younger brother. Okay, yeah, why are we here? I agree. I just not agree to anything that has happened to her not happen. I don't know what happened. I've had a lawyer for nine years through my divorce. I'm not going to agree or disagree through anything. Ma'am, I don't know what happened. I'm asking exactly. what happened. Why are we yeah, here? No, I don't know. The two boys have since left the scene, but it's believed that Cherie's other children are still in the house. Police need to verify that they are unharmed. But Cherie is uncooperative. Ma'am, do you have kids? We just want to make sure they're okay. Sure. So you have kids? Sure. Maybe not. I have older than or younger than two. So I'm so much younger than I'm younger than not that. Like, who cares? Like, nobody cares to anything, which I've agreed to five years ago through my divorce like I know what I'm entitled to and I'm entitled to so I'm not going to agree or disagree to anything so good for you guys man we're not we're not we don't care about the divorce yeah and okay? I've already made sure they're safe okay so good so for you so you have children then maybe okay are they inside the house maybe and we're just here to check on your children sure maybe or maybe not why, why are you trying to because you're not allowed to know or not know we're not it's allowed. not your we're Discretion, not discre Listen, discretion. We're here for not, it's not. So we're here just to check on the children, to make sure they're sure. all right. All right, good to know. If they're not here, then tell I'm us. I'm not, not here. under arrest. We didn't say you were under arrest. I am not under scrutiny. Under arrest. Bye, Felicia. Cherie retreats inside the house for 15 minutes while police continue to ring the doorbell and try to make contact with the children. She reappears in her garage where the police try once again to get her to talk about what happened between her and her stepson. What are you no, heard about? I, no, I'm not okay. Well, that's what, what are you heard about? He has the people I love is not okay. It's not okay. Who's the people you love? Which is my stepson, mm -hmm. Tyler, which is my stepson, and my boyfriend, which is my step boyfriend, which I gave for everything in this household. Okay. So what, what happened today? Ask them. You what? Ask them. We did ask them. Then good for you. It's notable here that the officers enter the garage. They're treating the garage as part of the home. This is important because all searches must be reasonable under the circumstances and in most cases require officers first obtain a warrant to enter a home. However, there are several long-standing exceptions to requirement of a warrant to enter private property. Because the initial call related to the alleged physical of a minor, officers can likely justify entry under the urgent circumstances exception. In addition, many states have child welfare exceptions to the warrant requirement which fall under the urgent circumstances umbrella. These statutes are designed to prevent abusers from blocking officers' immediate entry into a home if there is a child in need of protection. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, it's not a word for yeah, okay, thing. so no kids are in the house. We just heard a child. Okay, so was it a TV? Don't try no. to play me. Get the f off my goddamn property right now. Get the off my property. Ma'am, we're trying to no, make... No, you know what? Get the Bye bye. Why? You know what? I'm count to three and I will be liable for every Ma'am, Ma come talk Two. to us. Ma'am. Right, bye Ma bye, Felicia. Ma'am, come talk to us. No, you know what? There's no guy. Ma'am. You want to play? No. Don't put your hands on me. No, I didn't touch you. No, you know what? I didn't touch you. No, you know why you like that on my You know why? You know why you play my It's you. Cherie is handcuffed, but she continues to strike the officers, bringing this situation from bad to worse. 
That's right. She bit him. You hurt anywhere, ma'am? Oh, man. Where? Hey. Wait. You got any other kids in the house? Yeah. Where are they at? Who? How many are in there? Two. I have two kids. I have a 13 year old. Is there anybody else that can watch your kids? I have a 6 year old and a 7 year old. Yes, yeah. my aunt. Okay. My sister. So my boyfriend is. <laughs> Alright, honey, listen. Yeah, I'm gonna right. set you up, okay? Alright, ready? Yeah. We're going One, up. Two, three. <laughs> Oh, man, it's a simple talk to you and end up turning it over. Um, did she get your arm on the other time? I seen her trying to get you down. No. I feel like I'm going to pass out. You feel like you're going to pass out? Yeah. I'll get made you run away. I'm going to go pee first. All right. I can't catch you. Just leave her here. Hold my hand out. I'm holding your hand. Listen, do you have hepatitis you think, A, B, anything no, like that? You think you're going to pass out from no, no, the fight or from... Right. Listen, do you have hepatitis A, B, anything no, no, like that? No, 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 no. Nothing like that? Just hold me right there and All right. go, what? You good? You want to get him on the ground? Let's get him down. She's secure? Yeah. Well, well she's good? Back. Just stay, just stay on the ground, okay? Okay. You passed out. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Do you have seizures usually? No. Okay. Do you, how do you, what do you, you feel? How do you feel right now? I'm okay. All right. Let's just stay here then. Hold on. Until uh, the ambulance gets here. That's what you were doing. You're like, she's yeah. my legs. So I was like, oh, I didn't know she was biting your I leg. Know, I yeah. seen when she tried to bite your arms. Yeah, she's cheating my arm. Right? And then that's when I was just, but I didn't even see. She was doing that until you start trying to put your head off you. And then I realized what was going on. I'm like, oh, shoot. Let me, uh... Check on the kids. Officers finally make their way inside the house as they wait for medics to arrive. They confirm that the other children are safe and secure their transportation with other family members. 21-year-old Tyler is then interviewed about the initial call. The thing is, listen, we're, listen, listen to me, listen to me. The thing is, when you call us... Don't just call us and and make it appear as if nothing happened once we get here. That's not what I was trying to do. Tell me what happened. Why did you call us? I explained to the police officer. I said, look, I didn't feel safe at the house. I had been trying to leave. My little brother comes into my room crying with a red face, mm -hmm. telling me that they were horse playing and that she had taken it too far. And mm -hmm. she had just hurt him where he couldn't breathe. And he was trying to tell her to get off of him. You know, normally she's very, she's not like that. She's, you know. Very good mother, but usually, you know, so whenever she gets drunk face like this, she turns into a completely different person. And I didn't know she was drunk. I hadn't even talked to her. Mm -hmm. I had just, this is the first interaction I've had with her today. We have a good relationship. We don't get into fights like this or nothing. This is the first time she's actually put hands on me. And I was like, what, what happened? And she goes, she starts kind of getting a little upset and starts kind of screaming a little bit. And I was like, okay, well, what's going on? I was like, why are you talking? like that don't talk to like that and I was like you don't talk to your kids like that and then she smacked me and said uh, I was like Shri I was like I can tell you're drunk I said well the clothes are open for this uh, oh she uh, smacked me uh, you know uh, left or right side uh, right here it's been a long time since I've been to jail how does that work she'll be able okay, to get so her property since when it's, she... it's gonna be considered domestic because all you guys live in the same house together okay it's considered domestic battery in the state oh, of Florida on your son. I'm just not filing anything. 
it doesn't matter. In the state of Florida, it doesn't matter. If we have evidence that somebody put their hands on it, one another, it doesn't matter. Florida doesn't take very lightly. So she'll have no bond until she sees the judge in the morning. And then once she sees the judge in the morning, she'll be able to get a bond. We could ROR her, which is release her on her own recognizance without having to, to pay anything. Or they'll give her a bond. The scene is cleared and Cherie is taken to the local hospital where she is assessed before heading to jail. Cherie is booked and charged with a misdemeanor for domestic battery for allegedly striking her stepson. She's handed two other felony charges for battery on a law enforcement officer because of the bite and resisting arrest with violence. Cherie was arrested once before in 2018 for a similar incident outside a Flagler bar. That time, she was charged with resisting arrest without violence. Later that year, she was arrested for domestic battery against her husband at the time, but the charges were dropped. Cherie was allegedly intoxicated in both instances where she resisted officers. She's not been arrested following the 2020 incident. The deputy that was bit was seen at the local Advent Hospital and has since recovered from his injuries.